it's time to dish with D. That's me. Thank you for clicking on this video and making yourself a priority. I am Denise. We are in week eight of the fall challenge. <gasps> week eight. And if you are still here, that means you are dedicated. I know some people kind of flocked off and that happens, you know, but these are small changes that we're making. And this week, is one that I put pretty down the line. The water, yeah, I put that one here. Interesting, you might say, but I feel like we're always thinking about water. water I mean, not that water isn't important because it is, but I think we need to focus on other things as well. And we all know, the water is one we all kind of know anyway. So I kind of, that's why it's just toward, towards the end when you think about it. But I put down on the challenge to drink at least 40 ounces. I'm not telling you 60 because I know some of us don't even drink 20. So I think 40 is a good number. I mean, if you're not drinking any, then maybe you should just start with like 25. <laughs> but if you are drinking like me, definitely try to get at least 40 in. Now, I looked up a few tips and it's funny because there were things I was going to talk about anyway. And we're just talking water. Plain, plain water. Nothing fancy. You don't have to buy fancy water. You don't have to, you know, just H2O out of your spigot or out of your refrigerator, wherever you get your water. Again, you could, you'll hear people say, oh, you didn't, mm -mm. plain water is all that we need to drink. Let's reiterate that. Now, you know, back when I was working in the medical field, we're coming back way too long, but we used to tell people to drink water for weight loss because, now, I don't know if this is true, but this is what my boss told me to say, so I listened to him. He'd say, um, Denise, you tell them when they ask you why, you say, because water helps your kidneys function on their own so their liver can work on burning off calories. That's what he told me to say. That's why I said it. I didn't really check that that was right or not, but I thought I would share that with you. Fun fact, when I was a medical assistant back in a previous life, BC, before children, but I found tips to how to drink more water. Now, it's always fun to have a nice cup. I should have brought my cup with me. I was going to, but it's tea time now. So we're having tea this morning. But having a nice cup helps. Having a good cup that keeps your water cold helps. Nobody likes to drink hot water. They don't. And those nice ones that are double insulated and have that metal interior seem to work the best. Now, you don't have to buy the expensive ones. The lesser expensive ones might not keep it cold for quite as long, but it will keep it cold long enough for your day. Like those expensive ones seem to keep it like for like 36 hours. We don't need 36 hours of cold. We just need like, what, 13? Because we're only up 13 to 14 hours a day, maybe 15. So that's all. So the more less expensive ones will help for that amount of time. Like, I mean, you don't need it overnight. You're going to refill it in the morning anyway. So if you if your budget can't afford you to buy the Yetis or the um God, I can't think of the, name, the names of them, but you know all the expensive ones that are like thirty five, forty, and fifty dollars, then definitely get the lesser expensive ones. You can probably get them at Target or Walmart. And as long as they're metal, they will keep it cold for a pretty decent amount of time, long enough for us. Let's put it that way. Now, you've been seeing in my little ramblings that I do when I go out in the car, I bring it with me. I might not be drinking a whole lot, but I'm drinking more rather that I didn't bring it. You know what I'm saying? If I left it home, I'm not, obviously I'm going to drink any. But if you bring it with you, you're more likely to drink some. And that's the goal when you're out. You're not going to sit there and drink, you know, what, 20 ounces when you're out because you're going to find a bathroom. But a few good sips is all you need. So that is the first tip. Carry a water bottle with you and refill it throughout the day. And I would suggest trying to get not too big of a one because if they're big and cumbersome, you know, you might not, it's like, uh, because when you fill it, put ice in, it's going to make it heavier. So I would say try for a 20 or a 30 ounce one would be my suggestion. Um, the 40 ounces, they're great, but they're really heavy. And I think you're less likely to grab it because it's such a heavy thing and fill it first thing in the morning. I do it when I'm making my tea. I fill it because I will drink it if it is filled. You can't drink it if it's not filled. And if you keep it right there, like mine is right by my little tea section. So I'm going to, and my refrigerator is right there. You see my videos, my, I do all my prep here. My refrigerator is right there. I just fill it right up. So it's always ready to go. I have no excuse. No excuse. 
And this one says free some freezer safe water bottles. I don't like that. They melt too slow. But if that's something you might like, it's a suggestion. Choose water over sugary drinks. Yes. Now, I've been doing that a lot when we go out. And the next one is opt for water when eating out. I have been doing that. Only time I don't is if I need to have a caffeinated beverage, like a, like a diet soda. Um, but nine times out of ten, even Steve knows, because you're not, you're not order. I'm like, because I, I'd rather try to get a little bit more water in. And it's always, you always tend to drink water when you're at a dinner anyway. I don't know why that is, especially at Chinese places. You ever notice we get like to a, you know, a Chinese restaurant, they're always big on the water and they come around all the time. And I drink most of my water there. Serve water during meals, like when you're sitting down for dinner. If you set a table, set a water glass. And if you want to have a tea or a soda, I'm not going to sit here and be the soda police and tell you not to drink a diet soda. I drink a diet soda a few times a week. There's something wrong with it. Um, but always good to have a water with it so you can have both. So definitely have water with your meals. This one says add a le wedge of lemon or lime, which is nice and delightful. Water does take b taste better when it's enhanced. Oh, I should have put my tea bags down. I knew I was something I wanted to show you guys. I've gotten, you've probably seen it on my reels. I've shared it here on the um, channel. I think I have in a haul from Bigelow. Bigelow tea. Now, I got it in my, re well, I didn't get the first box I got when I was away, but they do sell it in my regular shop or grocery store. Bigelow Botanical Herbal Infusions, they're called. They're tea bags and they're caffeine free and they're fruited flavors. So, you just, and it's bruising cold water. So I put my little thing in, I think it's a 12 ounce tumbler that I use. I put cold water and I, it's already up there steeping. And it gives you like, it's like it says no caffeine in it. So it's like having flavored water. So it's really good. A few of them I've really enjoyed. There's one I didn't like. And you will hear about that one. When I do the real, <laughs> good. But the few of them are fantastic. The peach one, I absolutely adore. So that's a debt. And they were on sale for $2 and I think 30 cents at my shop right here. So that's why when I got five boxes, I thought, well, this is a good way to try them because they're for, for, definitely for 18 bags. I thought it was definitely affordable. So it's definitely a fun way to get, like I said, there's no caffeine in it. So it's not like you're getting a caffeine boost because you're not. So that's definitely lemon, lime, or these little tea bags. Make sure your kids are getting enough water, too. My kids were little. They, we always, my mother used to say, your kids drink a lot of water. I used to have, like, little sippy cups. Timmy had the blue one. Peter had the green one. And there was always ice water in it. So they always drank water. Always. That's why I think when they were little, they didn't ever have cavities when they were real young because they were constantly drinking water. That's a great thing, too. Water cleans out. All right, here's some tips for upping your water game. Flavor it with fruit. You could add, you could add like, people add strawberries, blueberries, blackberries, raspberries, cucumber to their water. Besides lemon and lime. So, I, I don't know how that tastes, but I see people do it. You can even buy the, the water bottles that have the little fruit, little section where you, you know, unscrew it. So, that if that's something you enjoy, it's always something to try. Whatever gets you to drink is what you do. Tie it into a routine. Drink a glass of water every time you brush your teeth, eat a meal, or use the bathroom. I was doing that for a while. Before every meal, I would drink eight ounces of water. And that's a good tip, too, because if you're really, like, if you're fine, you're overeating a little bit, fill your tummy up with a little bit of water. So that's a good thing, too. That's three times a day. That's eight, 16, 24 ounces of water you can get in just before every meal. That's a great one. Challenge a friend. If that works, challenge a friend. I also have a water tracker if you need one. Some people like to do that. They like to color it in or put a sticker on it. So if you're, I don't know if I could link it. If, I don't know if I could link it because it's in Canva and I'm not very good at linking things on videos at the bottom because I can find the link's really too long. But I have saved it. So if you need it, email me at dishwithd at yahoo.com and I will send you that water pdf you could hang it on your refrigerator like i said some people that's that's helps them and if that's what helps you hey then you do what you need to do take it to go alternate your drinks so yeah there's always different things that you can do but you know with bottom line is just do the minimal 
don't probably try to drink 18 gallons of water. Just do the minimal. Why? Because the minimal is sustainable. We're not drinking water just for this week. We're hopefully to up our water game permanently. So that's why I say 40 ounces because it's a, it's a kind of a doable number. Don't be trying to drink. I'm drinking 120 ounces a day. Great. I'm happy that you're doing that. But is it sustainable? Can you continue to do it? And sometimes too much water isn't good for you anyway. I mean, for some people, it's not. Some people have health problems. They can't drink too much water. So be very careful. And if you definitely have a concern, you should always ask your doctor. Don't be listening to me. I'm not a doctor, nor do I pretend to be. Nope, I'm just a girl giving you a suggestion. Any suggestions you get and you want to do, you should, and you're on a lot of medications, you have a lot of health problems, always pick up that phone, send an email. It never hurts to be proactive in your own health. Don't listen to a girl on YouTube. I'm saying. I'm just here giving you advice. Definitely check with your physician. And that's for anything. Don't take... You heard me. Mm. So that is it for this week's challenge. Are you in? Let me know down below. Say, hey, D, I'm still in it to win it. I want to hear that you're still in. Let's get that, like I said, keep it easy on yourself. Don't be an overachiever. Be an achiever. That's all you have to do. Doesn't... Nobody drinking more is not going to get you anywhere. Just drinking the, what you need to do. So that's the thing to think about. Something you can sustain. So that is it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you are new here, welcome. And if you haven't, hit that subscribe button. Join us here at Dish with D. We'd love to have you as part of our challenge. Every Monday, there's a new challenge video that goes up for fall. For the next couple, we have, we have a few more weeks in this challenge left. So it's never too late to join. Don't sit there and say, I just found you, D. You could always join any time. It's, it's a free challenge. I'm not charging you for this information. It is free. So come join us here. And what was I going to say? I don't remember. Oh, I was going to tell you guys. You know, I should mention all my videos. At the end of the video, there's always videos at the end that I put up. There are suggested videos. There are videos that need a little bit of love. So if you ever have a couple extra minutes and you see a video that comes on after the video, I think you have nothing else better to do. I'd love for you to go give that video some love. It's... Yeah, that's why it's there, because it needs a little bit of attention. Sometimes not all videos do well. It is what it is. So I will dish with you another day. Have a great rest of your day, my lovelies. We got this. Drink up.